and it's finally that time. Yes. The time to present George the Rolls. Yes. Ta da. Say hello. Let's do a little walk yeah. around. This is George the Rolls who is a slightly modified Rolls-Royce Wraith. Uh, let's start with the engine. Underneath the hood, a V12 twin turbo, super customized by Absolute Motors in the Netherlands, built to 810 horsepower. And let me tell you, that's more than enough for this car. And we have the dyno papers and everything that it's actually 810. It's not some fantasy number. What should we go? Oh wow, well, of course, number two. Haha, <laughs> the extra. We have a monster set of extra lights because I come from Sweden. I skied in northern Sweden. And in northern Sweden, you have truck drivers that love. Oh, nice. Hello, you get quiet now. <laughs> you have truck drivers that are all looking for moose and reindeer. So big extra lights. And that's why I've always loved the big lights. That was my dad's favorite part of the whole car. He's like, I love the extra lights. <laughs> so K9, I got the lights for you. Yes. So we have two in the front, four at the top. Uh, should we move uh, this way here? Mm -hmm. The wheel. We have 24 inch Forgiato rims. Uh, yeah. These are not sponsored rims. This is me like, okay, like I want those guys. So mm -hmm. we bought it. They arrived like four days before everything. So super happy with them. And of course, most importantly, we have sure. the tire letters. The rolls. From Threadware. I was joking to the guys at Threadware. I'm like, wouldn't it be funny to have George the Rolls on it? And then when the, the package arrived, I'm like, they actually put George the Rolls. Yes. So yeah, tire stickers, always an important uh, part of the finishing touches. And then, um, I mean, of course, Leo Vegas. Like, we got to talk about Leo Vegas because if it wasn't for Leo Vegas, I would not have the partners in order to come up with ideas like this and just take all the craziest things they have in my head and try to figure out how can I do this in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Leo Vegas, for like, well, if it wasn't for you, this car wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be doing burnouts in a Rolls Royce. So, <laughs> no. like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. you just I always want to do a burnout in a Rolls. <laughs> Um, you might not wonder why 69 I always did so many car rallies you always had a number and I was just playing around with it And then I realized that with the logo here. I needed symmetry in the logos. So we picked 69. Yes, and who doesn't love 69? Of course. I mean. <laughs> and then the little team overkill logo We mm -hmm. felt that we needed a little logo. So we did one real quick last minute um, What else we have we have you also name here the like driver. we always do we have Yanni. She got the back seat mm -hmm. Sorry, Yanni <laughs> And then, of course, the top roof special solution. So Alexander from Bileplysningen, who helps me uh, with all the lights, he came up with the idea to use magnets for the roof. I'm like, does that really work? And now after having driven 2,282 kilometers and this thing's still sitting here, we know that magnets work. Yes. They do scare me in the first little bit. <laughs> and then let me open here so we can get up a bit. Here, come Benny. Since we don't need skis in the in the summer, we don't need a ski box. So that's why we came up with the roof box. Because I always have too many things I need to bring and never enough space. So we're like, yeah, let's put one of these on. I mean, they look sick on the car cars. And no one would ever dream of putting that on a Rolls Royce. So mm -hmm. perfect. <laughs> let's do it. So in the middle, we have a jet-powered surfboard from Jet Surf that we are going to go play with once uh, all this is finished. Oh, yes. But we are, so both me and Benny are surfers, but you don't always have waves. So now we can just go on this and... Mm -hmm. And this is sick. Yeah, like, Super sick. it's all carbon fiber, 18 kilos, right? Yes, 18 Monster only. of a little thing. And then we have, you know, I'd like to thank uh, Mega China here for uh, these uh, awesome gas tanks. Yeah, we need gas for the Jet Surf. Yeah, of course. I'm like, well, there's something missing on the roof. We need gas tanks. Yeah. Because most of all, I hate to fuel up and I always end up running at empty. So now we have gas for the Jet Surf and gas for me when I forget to fuel up. Mm -hmm. And what else do we have on the back here? Of course, we are douchebags coming through. For those of you who are new, Douchebags is uh, my bag company that I started and we don't like to take the name so seriously, so we always like to joke about it. And yeah, we're douchebags coming through. Who else does this to a uh, Rolls Royce? A Rolls, a douchebag on a Rolls. Um, Look at the back. Jet Power Surf. That's insane. Cannot wait to try this one. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then I just love the Rolls Royce, Absolute Motors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then of course, I mean, with a camo car. Da 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 da. Camo bag. The brand new camouflage douchebag line. Yes. Hold on, let me model one. Turn around. How does it look like if I'm walking like this next to the car? <laughs> it looks perfect. Like, I don't know why I'm such a like fan of camouflage, but I just love how it changes stuff. So yeah, this coming out very soon. So check out Douchebag's uh, Instagram, and then on the stories there, you'll find out when they're online. 
it'll be super mega soon. Mm -hmm. So check that out. And the whole collection. And the whole collection. We have yes. every bag in this. Yes. And please don't like all go to the website at the same time so we crash it. <laughs> be respectful. We have a lot of these, but I'm expecting them to not last. They last more than a day that I'm real happy. Mm -hmm. So please like don't go at the same time. And we ordered six times more than the last shipment. So hopefully that should be enough for you guys. Hopefully people don't like camo as much as I do. But I love those. Yeah. And then of course a car is never ever complete without a serious set of exhaust system. So this one has a custom built all the way crazy system from Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. I, I was like trying to Google around to find a cool uh, system and I'm like, yeah, this doesn't sound anything. Then I got in contact with these guys. They're like, we'll make you something that sounds a lot. <laughs> so now it George works. doesn't sound like a, a regular Rolls Royce anymore. And then, uh, yeah, what do we have? We have a couple more, couple more things. Of course, dark windows. We all love dark windows. And then now that Benny is officially, officially like a hardcore part of Team Overkill, he needs his name on the car. And his reaction was just priceless. No way. Are you kidding me? Do I already have my name on George? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no way. But his reaction to what I put on next was even better because I figured that if I have Yanni on the back seat, Benny needs a girl as well. But Benny doesn't have a girl. So we made this hashtag. <laughs> hashtag Benny needs a date. And that's the best idea you've had so and, far. And here is his reaction <laughs> to that. Oh, no way. No fucking way. So if you have, um, you know, a friend that you think should date uh, one of the members of Team Overkill and, you know, likes to go on a Rolls Royce, Enjoy you know, Overkill. use the hashtag if you are a girl that think you would uh, be a soulmate with Benny. If you like <laughs> surfing, traveling the world, living in Casa Camo, I guess, yeah. and riding Rolls Royces, use you... the hashtag and let's get Benny a date. Yes. Um, do we have anything else? Uh... The thing is, it's like, it's like a combination of a monster sports car and a four-person cruise, let's go, however long you want to go. Yesterday, we drove 2,282 kilometers non-stop with this, and it was... Fantastic. It, I mean, it was still long, It was fantastic. I'll tell you, it was better than a Lambo. Yes. So sick. So we're already starting to have fun with George. It's lowered as well by Absolute Motors. Absolute has also done the wrap. So I'd say that, you know, the two main part or reasons that we are here is number one, Leo Vegas. They're a cool company because they, they support my idiotic ideas like this. And number two, Absolute Motors, because finding good cartooning people in this world is not easy. I found Stepnam Motorsports in Stockholm, but they don't do Rolls Royces. So thankfully, Absolute Motors stepped in and uh, I, I can just recommend everyone to uh, try Absolute. They're fantastic, they're fantastic people, and we had a great time with them. So I can deeply, from my heart, recommend it because I know how hard it is to find good, um, yeah, find good people. Yeah, oh yeah, good people. We like good people, but now you've seen this thing. So uh, I say that we do a couple drives, show you the sound and like see, See if we can actually make a proper burnout with one. Yeah, why not? I've never really done a burnout with a Rolls Royce. try. That's gonna be my goal for today. Okay. But let's hit the gas. You guys can hear the sound. We'll enjoy.
that was George the Rolls. I think that he's been uh, raced very nicely and knows how to behave. Mm -hmm. So I hope you like the sound, the acceleration, everything. There'll be lots more. But most of all, I hope you like the burnout because I always wanted to make a burnout in like a Rolls Royce and just see like every light. Like, ah, do stop doing that. <laughs> so fantastic. So now it's time to uh, roll home, jump in the pool, and keep enjoying this Marbella day. So I say we jump in the car and like cruise that way. Yep. What a fantastic ride! Successful mission! Yes! George is alive! Bam! Bam! Good and we, old George! And we got to have a beautiful shooting the George morning. Oh yes. Because 48 hours ago we didn't have plates, we didn't have a finished car, we were in Amsterdam and it's been stressful to say the least. But now George is here. He's here with his smaller sibling. Uh, we need a name for the Garia golf cart. Uh huh. But they sure do look good, great together. Oh, yes. And I mean for those of you who haven't, doesn't know me and you might wonder, what is going on with camouflage? Mm -hmm. And yes, I have a camouflage house. Because <laughs> I've had camouflage cars forever, and I just loved it. And then Yanni's dad was like, you should paint your house in camouflage. I'm like, first of all, you're really cool, dad. Second of all, I totally should. So, now we have George's home. George is alive. George likes to do burnouts. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. That was like <laughs> my one goal with this. So now we're going to go jump in the pool, float on a floaty, and then think about what happens in the winter for George. What is 2.0? So, if you want to check out all the photos and a um, bunch of writing, you have a link in the description to my website. So you can check it out all there and feel free to use at any places you want. But now it's pool time and things are good. Car release over. So, ciao over and out from Casa Camo, George and the unnamed golf car and the camouflage douchebags. Make sure to follow the douchebags on Instagram to know when they come out. So. Let's go jump in the pool.